Welcome to uh, Tips and Information. Uh, this is only a Tips and Information just because this kind of might give you an idea of how you want to set your truck up or, you know, some information about parts. So anything on here that I mentioned that's newer, I'll try to find a link and post it below in the description so you can kind of, you know, order some if you want or not. So, um, but this video is just basically kind of an update on what Max D currently looks like for me. So starting out, I reinstalled uh, these internal shocks right here, these silver ones. I have all three on. The fourth one, when I took them off, it bent. And then uh, also some of the pieces uh, fell apart and lost. So couldn't really reinstall that one, so I just left it off for now. But um, Hopefully in the future and get some new shocks for that. The servo up front is the same one I had on before, the 25 kg from Amazon. This, that special. Um, had no issues the last time with it. And so went ahead, ordered another one, threw that on there. The other one I think stripped, but I did not verify yet for sure if it's completely junk or not. And then the other servo horn that came with that one ended up stripping the teeth on it so put the new one of that on and these tiny screws be careful not to over tighten them because they will snap like I did on the top one so also as you know if you follow the channel got the uh, cheap China metal housings on the uh, axles now the ends are still plastic and then the little truss brace up here is still a stock plastic one as well. Do have aluminum lower control, not control arms, lower uh, shock mounts there. So that is uh, an upgrade. I think that's it for the front. Um, so let's go ahead and move to the center. So on the sides here, uh, this is something I put on after. It's pretty much just your plain white styrene plastic. I just painted it black and I bolted down with four little screws, some hardware I got from Lowe's and just drilled small holes through the uh, plastic tube chassis itself. So that's how that's held on. Same with the other side. The other side has the same setup because I originally just had this little box set up for the receiver with the lid but that peeled that off since then. But now with the uh, new brushes set up, I had to make a new plate since I chopped up the staff set up here. Make a new plate, bolt it down with those three spots right there. And this is again styrene that I just painted in through I think some, uh, not bed liner, but a plastic dip over. And that reaches all the way to the back here at the very back near the uh, battery tray. Again, this is going to look different than yours because I chopped a lot of the stock setup out. But on here, I have the uh, ESC and then everything kind of fits nicely in there. I did not zip tie anything yet or rearrange that stuff. If you can see, I took the uh, on off switch for the ESC and just bolted it through here, cut a little hole and made it fit. So now that's a little bit easier to access if I need to uh, turn it on or off with the body on. Um, let me grab the body real quick for you guys. So you can see with the body on, there's enough of a gap right here where I can just slip my finger in and turn it on and off. You could probably from the bottom, but it's very easy to grab from the top right there. So that's why I did that. That's pretty much it for that portion. Uh, kind of want to redo that because the back here isn't really supported as well um, but it does hold up it just fine it's just I'd rather have it more reinforced and then come back here I left the kind of battery tray how I put it before and reinstalled this little uh, swinging door fan I made had a question about this before. Uh, this is just made out of styrene and I believe these little discs are just little wood circles I had laying around. And this is like a tip of a paintbrush I think. And then this is styrene over top, just glued. And I pretty much just painted it silver and 
kind of black. And this is kind of just to represent like the uh, radiator that you'll see on. I know Tom Mentz had it on his for a while. Just the radiator in the back area. So I went ahead and did that. And all I did was glue it on to the original swinging door back here. So you can still put the body pin in and holds the battery in. So still functions as stock. I just put that little cosmetic detail over top. Um, just for looks so and then you can see I just kind of made a little slit this size longer back here and then I just clamped and glued both just like that so not a huge deal uh, drive shafts I did change those as well these just say KYX on them um, so far so good no issues they are metal um, this is enough full piece this is just the sleeve that slips over a little piece of dry shaft that's probably like that long or so on both sides and this just slides over top did front and back and um you guys already know did the uh, rear diff as well and of course the brush is set up still uh rocking that seems to be doing fine so far so on the spur gear, I did swap it out for the metal one. This came with the metal transmission gears as well. I didn't plan on using this, but the plastic one was starting to strip out. Um, probably due to neglect and everything else. But put this one in. You have to swap some parts around. But I have found this one to be uh, self-locking down itself onto the little bolt shaft. You can put it as loose as you want, but... Within a few minutes of running, you can it goes all the way down and tightens it down on itself. And it puts a lot of stress on the gears from what it feels like. Um, maybe it's not, but it feels like it's um, putting a lot more stress on the gears. So trying to figure out how to combat that problem because I don't know why it self, you know, locks down so tight. It just tightens it all the way down to the very end. Probably can't see it in here, but that will usually tighten my spur gears down and then back it off like a turn or turn and a half and leave it. This one I put as loose as possible to test it and it just tightens itself down to where it's just way too tight. It seems like it's uh, just possibly putting stress on gears when it don't need to and maybe hurting the motor more because it has to work harder but if you guys know a solution to that um, comment below. Feel free to clue me in on that but yeah uh, if you have any questions about the truck itself maybe something i didn't describe because i've talked about it before feel free to comment that below as well also uh like i said i'll leave links in the description for like the dry shafts um probably the motor servo anything i can find links to uh, sometimes the links are gone you can't find them anymore uh, I know like the batteries I was using they didn't have the milliamp hour ones that I had purchased just a month before so things like that change so if it's not the exact item it would be one closely related to it as far as uh, you know maybe a, the 25 kg link can't be found for the servo but it might be a 20 so it'll give you a, a reference point at least so thanks for watching please hit that subscribe button as well. I will also leave a link to some wheel nuts. I have uh, these for sale on eBay right now, so I'll leave that link below if you guys are interested in uh, grabbing a pack of wheel nuts. Uh, currently, they are selling, a, doing 12 per uh, purchase, so that's enough for three of your RCs if you're interested. They're black, self-locking, so go check those out. Um, and yeah, please uh, share the video and check out their playlist, and I'll catch you guys next time.